Hi guys, in today's tutorial I would like to talk about the comparator because I want to show you some basic circuits that I'm using in my redstone builds quite often so you can use them in your redstone contraptions as well and I think that the comparator is quite underrated. Of course it can be used to detect what's inside a chest but that's not the mechanic that I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the real redstone mechanics that go along with the comparator. So as you know, if you place it down, the comparator has a side and a back input and mostly when people use the comparator with the side and the back input, they are talking about putting it into subtract mode, so right click in it. But what does it actually mean? If you right click a comparator, you get into the subtract mode. That then does a basic calculation for the comparator. So if we just put a redstone signal of 13 to this, so 15 here, 14, 13, and we subtract the redstone signal of, let's say 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, then we should get an input or an output even of 3 because uh, 13 minus 10 is 3. This is what the comparator does in the subtract mode. But what does it do if it has two input and it's not in the subtract mode? It's in compare mode. You can see that a lot of lamps turn on and uh, this is also pretty simple to explain because all this does is comparing the back to the side. If the side input is bigger than the back input, then the signal will turn off. If the side input is equal or bigger than the back input, then the back input will be set as the output. So in this case, the back input is 13. So 13 of these lamps are turning on because the side input is smaller. If the side input is the same, so like this, nothing will happen as well, but if it's bigger, then the front will turn off completely. In subtract mode, it would be off as well. So basically the compare mode is checking if the subtract mode would be zero and if that's the case then also the output is zero but it's easier to remember the bigger or equal rule for this and I think that this can be used in way more contraptions to make things more compact. So now we have been talking about the compare function uh, but what are the other function of analog redstone signals and what are then the well, what is the comparator useful then for? If you want for example to put a delay into a analog signal then you can use the comparator because it has also one tick delay just as the repeater in the default state but it will man maintain the same redstone signal. On the other hand then if you want to invert a signal you can also do that because inverting is the main function of uh, circuits that you want to have to be able to do all kinds of crazy mechanics with it and with a um, digital signal you can do that with a redstone torch but with analog signals you can do that by just subtracting 15 minus your input. So the input is now at the side at the back I've got the lever so it's set to 15 so this is 15 is with the analog signal and if I now um, put a redstone signal of let's say 10 again so 1, 2, what, uh, 15, 14, 13, uh, 12, 11, 10 to this, you can see that by inverting the 10, we'll get a 5. And that might be very useful. You may not think, hey, where is this useful? But it makes some very, very interesting mechanics with timings. And I've set up a little example for this over here. Um, if I would tell you to build a uh, ABBA switch, which is basically... I want to turn on this piston, then this piston, and then I want to turn off this piston, and then this piston. But with five pistons, with digital redstone, you will struggle a little bit because it's not that easy to do. But with uh, analog signals, it is super easy to set something up like this. So what you can see here is that the pistons turn on one after the other, and then they turn off in the reverse order. And you need that quite often to do some doors and um, or other redstone mechanics with pistons basically and with analog signals it's super easy to do that and so that's why I think that analog signals are quite underrated in Minecraft and so the comparator has way more functions that you actually use so that's why I think that this is useful so I hope that you found this tutorial useful. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in the next video. Until then, have a great day.